Brian Robson's going to receive a solid goal watch for the fastest goal scored in the 1982 finals. And that was that goal in 27 seconds against France. Uh, but we've had a, a lot of correspondence. Um, the first writer, actually, was a man called Stephen McIntyre of Clydebank, so you should take the credit for it, pointing out that there are several books which claim a goal was scored in 24 seconds in the 1934 World Cup uh, third place playoff by Germany. Uh, well, we tried to check that, um, for the benefit of all you stats at home. Um, there was no official record, so Brian Robson does uh, hold the official record now at 27 seconds, but FIFA do not dispute that the goal was scored in 24 seconds. Right, that clears that up, but now it's much more interesting. FIFA have confirmed today that 24 teams will play in the next World Cup, as this time. But Neuberger, the FIFA organizing chairman, uh, has proposed there should be four first round groups of six countries, instead of six or four this time, with the top three in each going into the second round. And then he suggested in the second phase, they should have two groups of six with the top two teams going into the semifinals. Now, if that goes through, it, it does mean that World Cup finalists in 86 will have to play 12 matches instead of the seven they have to play in Spain. Uh, God knows how long it will go on. Do you think this is feasible? <laughs> I've got to say, this is the longest <laughs> we've had so far anyway. Um, I mean, in total, I think there's 50-something games in this World Cup. And 52, quite, I think. 52, and that means there's going to be a lot more. Um, I, I've got an open mind about bringing in extra countries, as it has happened this time, because I think, you know, the Cameroons and, and Kuwait and people like that, I think they deserve to be represented at the top level because they're working ever so hard in those countries to bring the game through the young boys and Cameroon's went home unbeaten? No. Well, he's your pal, isn't he? A goalkeeper. <laughs> the goalkeeper but, uh, yeah. but having said that, I do think that from the point of view of um, bringing the game on in, in countries like ours, we need good football and we, need, uh, we don't need to spread it too thinly. And I think the people at home will not want to watch too much uh, of, of the sort of game that we saw Germany and Austria, for instance, no. where tactically if, if it was just to get through. If I could, David, I, I'm beginning to wonder how important it is to see uh, quality matches other than FIFA um, gathering in revenue. That's what I'm beginning to wonder now. Um, and of course, it, this does mean so many more matches too. I mean, it's bound to. I, I mean, they can't even now have playoffs. So, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I would think the more matches, David, we've got more chance of seeing the best team winning the World Cup. And this World Cup's been typical of, of cup tie football, where the best team, obviously Brazil, is not going to win the World Cup. Right. Uh, they played tremendous in, what, three or four games. In a one-off match against Italy, they go out, they go out, and possibly Italy, who have been the most disappointing up until they played Argentina, they look as if they're going to go on and, and more than likely win the World Cup. So the new system, but, but yeah, I think you would see the best team winning the World Cup. Actually, um, just working it out roughly, I, I think this is right. If these proposals go through, there's going to be a total of 93 games. Well, I'll not be on the panel, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never make it. But... Um, I think that you've got to get to the stage where uh, you've got to get sudden death in. I mean, at the beginning, all right, let everybody have a little tickle and have your little leagues. But I think that people want to see cup football. They want to see uh, the fact that if, if two teams play together, the winner goes through and the loser goes home. Um, then, after what Lou said, at the end of the day, Italy won. I was bitterly disappointed when Brazil lost. But Italy won the game, irrespective of what, 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 what anybody wants to say. And um, I, w I personally would love to see quality football. Mm. And if that means sudden death, that, if that means people having to win the game, then that's got to be. Of course, one of the significant things about that was that Italy had to win the game. It was a cup tie for them that they had to win. A draw was no good. And yes. in, the, uh, in those circumstances, they produced their best football. Well, they've got to win today as well, you know. Yeah. And uh, a semi-final, there's only one winner to get into the final. But uh, I'd hate to think what the game would be like if neither side needed to win. But uh, I think I'd put the, the, well, the uh, less than exciting performance today down to being spoilt last week and also the nerves of a semi-final. There's so much at stake, you know, the, the winner goes into this tremendous final. But um, the rest of the time, some of the other games, which where two teams needed just a draw, I think they've been disgraceful, quite mm. honestly. Yeah, and anything that would get rid of that situation, I would welcome. Under this new system, David, that they're proposing, England, for instance, would still be there and um, we must all admit England deserved to be there in preference to France and Poland uh, and mean, even West, West Germany. Germany yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, uh, on paper, that looks the best way, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Would that system work like that, would it? That well, they've got, uh, it's difficult to work it all out, but they've got to get rid of the uh, sort of system that exists at the moment, where the West Germans actually fixed a match, it looked like, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, even the West Germans aren't denying it. Right. Um, it looked as if uh, Austria and West Germany had reached agreement against it. What would I have meant to say Scotland? Would they have... Do you think got uh, 
better results because well, of the Well, it's so. difficult to say because, uh, I mean, we've got six groups of four this time. Mm. You've got four groups of six next time, so yes. they say, with the top three going through. Yeah, probably so I think there'll be less complaints then. I mean, I felt very sorry for Jock Steen and mm. his team, and I do for England as well. But uh, presumably, if you get two lots of, what, three going through, or four lots of three going through, well then, you've got less complaint if you're not in that group. Okay.